Good morning, my Christian friends. We bring you greetings uh, this Sunday morning from St. John's AME Church, 545 East Butte Street in the city of Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you now for this another opportunity to be in your service. We pray, God, that uh, you would use us and this morning in the ways that uh, are known to man. Use us, O oh God, in your service. Draw us close to thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I call your attention to the book of Matthew, Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 16, verses 13 through 17. And when Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, <clears throat> he asked his, his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and other Jeremiah's or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood did not reveal it unto thee, but thy Father which is in heaven. And if you just move on down to Matthew chapter 21, 10. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? I want to talk to you from that same thought. Who is this? Who, who is this? Church, one of the things a reader of the New Testament would notice at once is how the question of the identity of Jesus often arose. Who is this? Who is this? Who, who is this man? Even his own disciples often wondered who he was, who he was. And although other men had arisen presenting some unique claim of manifesting some special quality and ability, yet these were soon classified by their fellow men and their true worth assessed. Yes, some gifted rabbi would, would arise and, and teach in the synagogue of one town, but men would soon catch on and grasp uh, his teaching, and, and then the rabbi would move on to another town. Amen. But with Jesus, it, it was different. It was different from the beginning of his earthly ministry to the end. Jesus was always arousing curiosity and intense interest. Jesus always made people ask questions about him. And the most common question of these was, who is this? Church, Jesus' identity was a puzzle to them. Yeah, yeah, he, he was a man like like themselves, and, 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 and yet somehow he was different. He, Jesus I'm talking about, uh, couldn't be classified. He couldn't be classified, and if any did think that he was uh, another Judas of Galilee, uh, to whom Gamaliel uh, referred to as a one-day wonder, then they found out that, that, that they were mistaken of this man. Uh, because this man could confound the wisest and most intellectual among them. And at his death, he still had men wondering uh, as to his true identity. Who is this man? Both friends and, and, and foes like ask this question who is this who is this man who who is this and the question was asked by the scribes and the Pharisees and the exponents of the law ethics and morality who is this that forgives sin that, that's that's what they were asking who is this man that forgiveth sin the question who is this was asked by the representative of royalty. Yeah, you remember King Herod? He asked, who is this 
of whom I hear such things, royalty, and by the representative of politics, Pontius Pilate asked the question, Who art thou? Art thou the king of the Jews? Yes, I tell you, my friends, the same question was asked by the leaders of religion, and, and, and it was asked at the religious trial of Jesus. Art thou the son of the blessed? Church, here we are in the 21st century, and this same question is in the heart and on the minds of so many people in the world today. Who is this? Who is this man? Well, let me explain it. Explain it then. Explain it, preacher. Okay, you, you see, when the teaching of Christ is applied to the immorality and loose living going on in our world today, the question is asked, who is, who is this? When the ethical teaching of Christ, such as the Sermon on the Mount, is applied to the present day corruption of government and local politics, as we have seen it play out uh, uh, this week from the White House to your house, the question is still, who is this Jesus? Even when spiritual teachings of Jesus is brought to bear upon the normal uh, official leaders of established institution religion, institutional religion, and that means the church, y'all. Y'all y'all know that's the church. The cry goes up. Who is? Who is this? Well, Jesus knew that this question of his identity was always on the lips of the people. And he himself became curious about the various conclusions they were arriving at. Uh, because that's that's the same way when folk ask you, are you saved? And, 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 and you know, sometimes we say, well, and rather than ask the question, and I think it really because we don't know, are you saved? Well, I belong to St. John Church. No, I didn't ask you, did you belong to a church? The question is, are you saved? Jesus became curious about the various conclusions that they were arriving at. So, so one day he asked his disciples, whom do men say that I am? Take a listen in at the reply. Whom do men say that I am? Whom do men say that I am? Jesus had heard, I heard somebody say, that you're John the Baptist risen from the dead. And another brother said, well, you know, I heard that the people referred uh, to you as Elias, Elijah. Well, Jesus, some saying that you are one of the prophets. And, and, and by this time, Jesus must have heard enough. And he interrupts them and, and turned the question back on them and asked them, who do you, the 12 of you, who, who do you say that I am? It's personal now. Uh, you, you've been with me through hard times, trials, and tribulation. Yeah, you've been with me when I preached a sermon on the mount. You've been there when, when we fed the 5,000. Yes, you've been there when the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of my robe. And, 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 and yes, you, you, yes, you. You were there when Zacchaeus came down the sycamore tree. You were there when Lazarus came back from the dead, when blind Bartimaeus received his sight. You were there. And not only that, but, but you fellas have walked with me and talked with me and slept out on the hillside together. We have eaten together, wept together, and sometimes rejoiced together. My question to you is, who do you say that I am? Shock. Silence, feel the air, heads down, shoulders humped, eyes cocked. You know how we do when, 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 the, when we just can't find the answer, when the answer won't come. And someone asks us something and we don't know the answer, rather than to say, I don't know, we'll, 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 we'll hump our shoulder, we'll, 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 we'll do all kinds of things. But thanks be to God, 
I'm glad that out of the 12 men, there was one brother by the name of Peter who knew the answer to the question. <laughs> yeah, there's always somebody that knows the answer, whether they speak it or not. But there's always somebody in the crowd that knows the answer. Peter knew the answer. So he said, who am I? Peter confessed. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus told Peter that that, that's, that, that is the truth. That's the truth. Uh, that this truth had not been revealed uh, to you by your own human wisdom and insight. In other words, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, Peter, but by God himself. Note, if you please, that the revelation uh, in the truth given by God was not found in the law. No, no. The truth that was given to Peter uh, was, was given by God. It was not found in the law. It was not found in religion, politics, or in the king's palace. No, but, but it was found in the heart of a simple fisherman from Galilee whose name was Peter. Now, don't lose that. Don't lose that. The answer was found uh, in a simple man, found in his heart, a simple fisherman from Galilee. Wasn't found in the king's palace, wasn't found in religion, wasn't found in the law, wasn't found in politics. And let me say it again, but it was found in a simple fisherman from Galilee by the name of Peter. Listen, as I take my seat, St. John, I, I ask you the same question today. And, and not only you, but all those who are listening to me. I want to ask you the same question today. Who is this? Who is this? Do you know him? Do you know Jesus for, for yourself? What does your heart say about Jesus? Even though we are not in the church, being out of the church is a true test to your faith. Yeah, we're locked out, but we're not locked up. Amen, somebody. You still have the freedom of praise and the freedom to give expression unto God. Who is this? Matthew 21, 10, our text. And, and when Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? Who is this? Who is this church? Who is this, stewards, trustees? Who is this? Ushers, choir members, who is this? Bench members, bystanders, who is this? Do you know him? If I had time, I'd call on Daniel the lion tamer. He'll tell you uh, that when he was thrown in the lion's den, he was the God that came and, and shut the lion's mouth. And if I had time, I'd tell you about the three boys from the fire department, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, they would tell you that God... Uh, not only took the heat out of the furnace, but God got down in the furnace with them so that they would not be burned. I tell you, he's a fire, he's a fire God. He's a fire God. The three Hebrew boys would tell you that he's a God that can put out any fire. Well, I got to quit, but 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 nobody asked me. Uh, and I told you about the, uh, the lion tame. I told you about the three Hebrew boys. I could tell you about many more, but nobody asked me. But before I quit, I'm going to tell you anyhow. Well, I, when I got sick, uh, and, and it seemed like I wasn't going to get well, and I was sure enough sick, he healed my body. The doctor uh, just pulled me through. But there was another doctor, and I'm talking about Dr. Jesus. He, he was the one that pulled me through. I know him as a doctor for myself. I don't, I'm not telling you what somebody else said. I'm not telling you about what I read. But I know him as a doctor. He's a doctor in the sick room. And, and not only that, he's a lawyer in the courtroom. And somebody ought to know him today. Who is this? There's something about his name. And when you call on his name, relief will surely come. Who is this? Who is this man? And what is he to you? Has he been good to you? Is he in your life? Ask yourself the question before you go another further. Who is this? And if the answer does not come, back at Jesus, the son of the living God, 
then I don't know what you're believing in. I don't know what you've been praying to. I don't know what you've been hoping for. But my answer to you today, is when you call on Jesus, and when you ask the question, who is this? The answer ought to be Jesus, the Son of the living God. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you until we meet again. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. And if you have been blessed by the word and would like to sow a seed into the ministry, go to stjohnsame.net and click the donate button. You may also give using Cash App. Like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. And may the Lord God bless you real good.